Hola fellow pilgrims and welcome back to the Shell Toucher channel. Ah, the Camino de Santiago, it, it certainly is a trip of a lifetime. But let's face it, those winding roads getting you from point A to point B via a vehicle of some sort is not necessarily the best companion at the beginning or at the end of your Camino. Ooh. What I'm talking about is motion sickness. Oh, oh, you haven't heard of motion sickness. Hmm, isn't that funny how that works? I know, it's not as romantic as how to prevent blisters on your feet, snoring, merino wool versus technical gear. Yeah, and don't even get me started on Camino car. <coughs> yeah, that's a thing too. Mm-hmm, maybe we'll cover that in a future episode. However, Nothing is more challenging and, dare I say, character building than trying to communicate with a bus driver that you probably share no common language with in some kind of broken Spanish and made up sign language that we all seem to default to in moments such as this. Mind you, the bus is in this dizzying, undulating motion all the while as you swing there like some jet lagged maniac from the holy sh bar. Can I say that? I said that. But fret not, because I have the ultimate guide today with you in mind to conquer motion sickness and keep that tortilla down and that barf bag at bay. Alliteration. <laughs> I put the lit in alliteration. Hey, I was looking for that. Sorry, it's close enough I could find your barf bag. Welcome back, folks. So where was I? Yes, motion sickness. Motion sickness, it can hit you like a rogue wave. You know what I mean? Causing everything from mild nausea to full-blown seasickness. Some of you know exactly what I mean. So how do we best prevent this? I got you, people, I got you. This is where I get a little anecdotal. Two Caminos in a row. First Camino, and, you know, this is especially for those who fly to Madrid and from Madrid take another flight to Pamplona, spend the night, and the next day take a bus. This is especially dedicated to those taking that bus from Pamplona to Saint-Jean. And that's where it began for me. My first Camino, the entire time I had, like, cold sweats on the bus. You know the feeling of, of it. I mean, it really, it just... Uh, and you're thinking, like, oh, God, I'm going to make a scene. I am totally going to make a scene. How do you stop a bus? And you are. You're whipping over hills, over mountains, wow. through the Pyrenees on a bus. Uh, sometimes at breakneck, reckless speeds. At least that's what it feels like anyways. All the bus drivers are certainly professional and know what they're doing, I hope. But I mean, my stomach was unsure at the time. I was taking off clothes, I was loosening up my collar, cold sweat. This was year one. Year two, I was ready for this. Year two, I was considering bringing drama in. Then last minute, I opted for those little bracelets, and I also had a plan. You know, I was going to sit close. We'll get to all of that. But the fact of the matter is, I still wasn't ready. Year two, it hit me. It hit the guy I was sitting next to, and it hit the girl across from us. We were all, we barely made it to Saint Jean. Yeah. So, inspired by that, I thought I would put together a little guide, as I mentioned, to help us all out. And this year, year three for me. We're going to totally beat this. Of course, I'm not going to do the Frances this year. But regardless, you will experience, or you can possibly experience, motion sickness not only on the bus that I spoke of, but also anytime you take a taxi. Like, you get to Finisterre, and you want to take a taxi back from Finisterre to uh, Santiago, which is typical. These taxi drivers, they drive like, like a, it's like a dance with God, and God has two left feet. And you haven't been in the car for a month. Yeah, so I mean, it can hit you. I've been in taxis where all of us are just like, so this is for you folks, because you're going to need this. And if you don't follow my advice, please leave a comment below on how you felt. And maybe, maybe you're better than me. But I think I have some tips to get you through this if it does, in fact, affect you. As it did me. And I, my stomach is not like that. I don't get car sick, typically. So here we go. Number one, face forward. Facing your travel direction disconnects your visual and inner ear senses. Then, 
eyes on the horizon. Stare at a distant point on the horizon to stabilize your visual fields. And if that doesn't work, change your positions. That's probably very intuitive and something we all do anyways, we'll shift around. You can experiment with lying down and maybe standing up, taking off the extra layer. All these things might possibly work as well. Number four, get some air. Crack a window, it's totally allowed, but yeah, open the window. It's easier for the bus driver to allow you to open a window than to stop the bus. Number five, nibble on something. Crackers work the best to settle the stomach. So pick up some crackers at the bus station. There are a lot of little shops there. There's even a coffee shop. And I'm almost certain they sell crackers. If not, come prepared. If you spent the night in Pamplona, you have to walk to the bus station. As you're walking, it's very close to wherever you're staying. Everything's pretty close in Pamplona. Stop, buy some crackers. Simple as that. Because they can truly calm your stomach. Grandma was right. And number six, possibly the most important and the biggest mistake, hydrate accordingly. I had a big breakfast both mornings, both times. I had a big breakfast and coffee. Caffeine is a no-no when it comes to motion sickness. Not only did I have coffee with breakfast, probably too much coffee with breakfast, I also had another coffee while I was waiting for the bus at the bus station. Again, there's a cafe there. You may be tempted to get some snacks, pastry, and coffee. We all seem to gravitate towards the coffee on the Camino. That's usually where it begins, at the bus depot. Don't do that. Pick up a ginger ale instead, or water. So avoid caffeine. You can also try distracting yourself with some music, maybe listen to headphones, conversation with the person next to you. That's typically how it starts. Lord knows it did for me. But again, our conversation quickly became about motion sickness. Yeah. And for God's sakes, don't read anything. Don't look at your screen. Don't be on your phone. Don't take your eyes off the road ahead of you. Don't read your tour or guidebook at this moment. It can, if not start the symptoms, it can worsen them. So you did everything that we talked about, but you're still feeling it. You can take some preventative measures. This is what I used on my second trip. They still didn't work for me, but I may have had it wrong. These are pressure point cuffs. And you put these on, these have a little bead on them that you will use to apply pressure to the P6, or what's known in the industry as the pericardium six point, which is exactly three fingers below your wrist and in between these two tendons. If you bend your hand back, you can see those tendons. So if you have these cuffs, you wanna apply pressure there where it feels almost achy. And that's going to help you, I can feel it right now, Yeah. My motion sickness is gone. Anyways, these didn't work for me. However, I'm not sure if I had them in the right place. I didn't do, I didn't have this video before I went. So I may have had it in the wrong place. I had two at the time. I gave one to the guy next to me. I know, selfless. Maybe I should have worn them on both wrists. That is advised, but one wrist should work. And if you don't have these cuffs, these are really cheap on Amazon, but if, and I'll have a link below. But if you don't have these cuffs, again, Three fingers below the wrist, in between, now some of you will see those tendons, in between those two tendons that pop right out, apply pressure with your thumb. Really dig in there deep and you'll feel often an achy, achy feeling. That's a good feeling, that's the one you want. That's gonna clear up the motion sickness. For most, if it doesn't work for you, there's also aromatherapy. And peppermint essential oil is really effective when it comes to treating motion sickness. So if you have some of that, I don't know if you have room to carry peppermint oil on you, but you can make something, or beforehand, I'm almost certain they sell inhalers. They See that? It's me inhaling peppermint. But a peppermint inhaler in combination with the pet pressure point, the P6, should work. However, let's not forget about liquish. Lozenges. That's right. Liquish is also nature's nausea, nausea? Nature's nausea fighter, fighter of nausea, nausea. Add nausea, doesn't matter. So maybe add a few of those to a Ziploc before you take off from wherever you're taking off from. Cause I don't know if you're gonna be able to find them in, or I don't know how easy they are to find in Spain. Lord knows when I was looking for echinacea, back to the Camino cuff, <sighs> it's real. So in combination with peppermint oil or peppermint inhaler, the P6, liquid lozenger, window open, eyes on the horizon, I think you're gonna be safe. However, 
If not, I mean, and maybe if you are a person that does get car sick, experiment what I'm talking about before you leave for this trip. And if they don't seem to work for you, there's also over-the-counter remedies. There's Dramamine, as I mentioned in the beginning, but there's also Benadryl, which they both are very, very close to each other. I say bring Benadryl only because you'll get more bang for your buck if you do have an allergy or a reaction, maybe you get stung by a bee, whatever. If you get a rash along the way, taking Benadryl will help you there. But it'll also greatly help with motion sickness. Ooh. So, pop a Benadryl. With these tips and tricks up your sleeve, you are sure to conquer Camino without letting motion sickness slow you down. Not one bit. And remember, the journey is the destination. One step in front of the other in front of the other. Motion sickness be damned. And that's it, folks. Until next time. But fret not, because I have the ultimate guide to keeping that tortilla down mm -hmm. and that barf bag at bay. A little. I'm not done. Must find tortilla. Must find tortilla. Must find tortilla. Must find. Ooh, time about motion sickness.